What is up everybody? I am Mumphy. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, thanks so much for joining. Today, today we are going to be updating the power management system in the Tacoma. Now, if you've been watching my videos, I did do a power management video talking about how I'm going to mount all my accessories, how I'm going to tie them all in so I can do switches inside the cab. Well, I kind of broke down and decided to go an easier route than having to run relays all over the place and having a giant bird's nest inside the engine bay. I wanted to keep it simple, wanted to keep it clean, so we are going to be updating the tray for all of the accessory mounts. Stay tuned and let's get into this video. So what we're going to have to do first is we have to get under the hood and we're going to have to pull the old tray out. I will be using the fuse block that I have in there on the new tray that I got from SD Offroad MT. You can find him on Instagram. He puts together a killer tray, super clean, for the Switch Pro SP9100. So let's get this open. Alright, so as you can see, I have the Overland Equip tray with the 100 amp circuit breaker and my 12 block fuse block. So, we're going to be removing this and installing a new tray that incorporates the Switch Pro SP9100. If you decide to go this route without the Switch Pro controller, you're going to have to figure out a way of running all the relays that come with a lot of the wiring harnesses for your accessories. So I want to keep this as simple and as clean as possible. So I'm going to be swapping out this tray. Nothing wrong with it. It's just not ideal for my situation. So we're going to remove this. We're going to place the new Switch Pro tray from SD Offroad MT. So let's get going. All right, so I've already done an install video on this. So I'm not going to kind of cover how to take it apart. So uh, if you are interested in the Overland Equip tray, check out that video. It's called the Power Management Tray. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this out, and then we'll go over the new tray from SD Off-Road MT. together uh, how to wire this new tray up with the Switch Pro SP9100 and sorry guys but the footage was a little bit too dark for my liking so instead of showing you the boring process of wiring this thing all up I'm just going to show you kind of the finished product of how I did it. All right so here is the tray fully assembled from SD Offroad MT. MT, he's got it stamped in the tray there. Uh, we will be putting on the fuse block here. Just a quick showing of the difference here. So we do have a larger tray. It's gonna sit more forward over the fuse bay in the truck. There is a little bit of a difference here. As you can see on the Overland equipped tray, uh, it's a solid piece. It's got a bend here uh, that attaches down along the frame. This one here does not, it's got just a small bend, but we will be attaching this arm, which will connect down from the tray here. What this does is it allows us to take off uh, the bolts that attach here, and then the two that attach to the body. So that way, if we need to get into the fuse panel in the engine bay, we ha we'll have to take this off in order to get to that. So this just kind of makes it a little bit easier so you don't have to consistently remove the, uh, the far bolt further down in the engine bay. Now with the tray and the full kit from SD Off-Road MT, the guy's name is Derek over there. Super awesome to work with. Most of the tr power trays that I've seen on his Instagram, which is how I 
contacted him for the Tacoma one. Most of the trades that I've seen over there are for the Forerunner. I did actually find him through a Forerunner channel on YouTube. So I reached out to him to see if he had a Tacoma version and here it is. It is dedicated to the Switch Pro SP9100 as you can see here. Super excited. Thanks Derek again for putting together such an awesome tray. So here we go. How we have it wired up is this is your main control module that'll tie into the terminal block. And each of these wires are gonna correspond to the eight connection terminal block mounting points. Now, as you can see, some have a single wire, others have dual wires. That's because the Switch Pro has a limit for the amount of output, the amount of amps that it can generate. So the first four, one, two, three, four, are going to be a max of 20 amps, where the five through eight, because it's doubled up, will have a max of 35 amps. So that's why you have double wires on there. As we take a look at the tray here, you can see that I have the wires coming through the cutout that wrap around underneath, and I have trimmed them so that way they will fit to each connector. And that's the best way to do it. Now, these are numbered, and in your Switch Pro manual that comes with the Switch Pro, it tells you which switch goes to which wire. So your number one is going to be a brown wire, your number two will be red, your three will be orange, four will be yellow, five will be a double green, six will be a double blue, seven will be a double purple, and eight will be a double gray. Now we'll be able to hook up our accessories to this side, tie them into the negative, because this will tie into the negative on the fuse block and that'll create the entire circuit. And then we have our circuit breaker here with power that'll go to the positive side of the fuse block. And then you have your main power connection. This will run directly to the battery. Now, what comes in the kit from Derek over at SD Off-Road MT. This is everything that you're gonna get, minus, minus this. This actually comes with the Switch Pro. So what you get is you will get two uh, positive cords and the short one's obviously going to go from the breaker to the fuse block and the longer one uh, is going to go from the fuse or from the circuit breaker to the battery. With the Switch Pro you'll have power directly to the battery. You'll get two negatives. The short uh, ground is going to connect here to go to the fuse block and then you have your longer one that will actually ground to our common ground in the truck. Uh, you can order the full kit minus the Switch Pro from Derek. So it comes with your bus bar, your terminal block, your circuit breaker, all these wires, and all of your hardware to mount everything up to his tray. You can price it out with a six panel fuse block or the 12. Uh, because I'm just going to be reusing my old one, uh, I didn't need to include that in the order. So this is really cool because all the hardware bags are labeled. So your terminal block, your circuit breaker, your bus bar, your mount to the fender. This here is the side bracket to mount. And then this is the fuse block. They are Allen keys, so you will need a couple of Allen keys uh, for the connection screws. He even supplies the Switch Pro to the mount hardware. So that's that's really cool. The rest of these wires we're keeping long. We've got a common ground here, which will all tie in the Switch Pro to the ground of the truck. And then we've got other wires that we'll need to attach so we can get power to the inside so that we can wire up our controller. I'm going to mount the old fuse block on here and then we'll be able to install it into the Tacoma. All right, for the side bracket mount, which goes way down here past the relay and fuse box, I've already pulled, we're just gonna reuse this to mount this to that body panel. We'll say this is a little easier doing the side bracket all by itself. I don't have a giant tray kind of in the way. All right, so I'm gonna kind of keep that a little bit loose for right now. And then we'll size the new tray with everything, make sure that we've got enough space to run all the power and then we'll go from there. So here we have 
the mount. The, uh, the trickiest one that's going to be is this first one uh, after you mount the fuse block. The hardware that's sent with the tray, my one critique would probably be to find one that's a little bit shorter. Uh, I ended up having to reuse the old bolts from my old tray in order to get these to kind of fit in there. It's it's more of more or less just a sizing. These are probably just a hair too long. Just a suggestion for Derek out there to help you guys later on down the road. Just uh, just get a shorter bolt. Same size and everything. Other than that, everything went together really well. I'm really liking this this new tray, the setup. I know we do have a little bit of limited space under the engine bay. I understand kind of having to come over the stock relay and fuse block you know that's okay we're adding switch pro which is really awesome next steps are going to have are going to be going through the firewall to put the switch connection in there and i think one of these wires goes goes in there i'm gonna have to double check all the the wiring diagram but what we can do is we can hook up all of the ground and then we can start hooking up all the power probably except for the switch pro for right now but we will go ahead and add the power to the breaker and button this all up for now. And we'll be good for future accessories. We'll be able to run all of our stuff up underneath, connect uh, what we need to to the fuse block and what we can to the Switch Pro controller. So looking forward to that. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap it up for this video on the SD Off-Road MT power tray mount from Derek. I don't know your last name. But hey, if you guys are interested in picking up one of these trays, check him out over on his Instagram. It is SD Off-Road MT. This thing looks amazing. So I got to thank you again for creating such an awesome tray for the Switch Pro SP9100s and for the 12 or the 6 fuse block from Blue Sea. Once again, he's got a full kit for all the hardware that you need. That's including the circuit breaker, the terminal block, the bus bar, and if you need the fuse block, either the 12 or the six. So uh, just let him know what you need and he can set you all up. The only thing that he's not gonna have is the Switch Pro itself. You will need to find that separately. I'm looking forward to the next install portion, which will be connecting everything and hooking up all the wires to the Switch Pro so we can start adding accessories to this thing. If you guys like this video, please consider subscribing. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers, hopefully before May, which is the anniversary of when I picked up the Tacoma. So love to do a huge, huge giveaway for that and to hit that thousand subscriber mark, that'd be awesome. So if you guys are enjoying the videos, let me know, hit that like button, leave a comment. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'm also on Instagram and uh, I'm also backing up all of my videos to Odyssey. So. If you want to check me out over on Odyssey, check me out there. Also, if you're interested in any of the stuff that I've done to my Tacoma, I actually have put together a kit link in the description box below where you can find all the links to where I've picked up all of my mods for my Tacoma. If you're interested in that, please check the link below and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.